party people. I have some stuff to do around the house today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, giving me the motivation to uh, muster through it all. Because honestly, there are things that like <sighs> are kind of boring and I don't really want to get to, but they've got to get done, right? I need to clean the fridge, I need to tidy the pantry, I need to meal plan, get ready for a big grocery haul I plan on doing maybe tomorrow. Well, really I needed to go to the grocery store four days ago, but we've been like working with what we have. Uh, we've been managing, I guess. Uh, maybe make some boiled eggs, energy balls, banana bread. I don't have any brown bananas, but maybe I'll find some in the freezer, I don't know. Tidy the place up just in general. My closet is a mess. I don't think we'll get to it, but it's a mess. Uh, yeah, just looking around the whole place is kind of a mess. Just, you know. That's what happens when you live in a house. I also have a little thrift haul to share with you guys because this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. I'm showing you my pants right here because these are from ThreadUp. Did you see the pockets? Huge thanks to ThreadUp for continuing to support my channel. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. And there'll be a special deal for you, so wait for it, okay? I have some goodies to share with you, and I'm really excited about them. If you guys don't know, ThreadUp is... <sighs> That's heavy. It's not really that heavy. I'm just really weak right now. So if you're unaware, ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store. Oh, they have the most amazing pieces and deals that you can find. They have a wide range of not only products because they sell women's clothes, kids clothes, but not only clothes, they have accessories and shoes and all kinds of stuff, right? Handbags, wallets, watches, hats, watches. I. I bet they do. They have everything from higher end pieces at a really affordable price. And then if you're on a budget, they also have a lot of affordable pieces too. I know what it's like to, you know, have kids all the time and not be able to go to the thrift store and get the thrill of the hunt. And ThreadUp solves that solution for you because you can do it online. They have an app, you can just scroll at night while your kids are sleeping. So ThreadUp is all about sustainable fashion and saving your wallet it, saving the environment, and April is Earth Month. They celebrate the whole month, not just the day. And buying one used item instead of a new item saves enough energy to power a selfie light for 142 straight days. <laughs> And that's just one item. Imagine how much water and, you know, energy sources it saves when you continue to buy thrifted pieces. Most of my wardrobe is thrifted. You guys know that. I love buying thrifted items. It's amazing the kinds of stuff that you can find. So let me jump in and show you some of my, the gems I found from ThreadUp. Well, first of all, these amazing pants. Uh, estimated retail value of these is $36. I got mine for $11.89. <laughs> So this is my second outfit. I wanted to try to find stuff that would definitely grow with my bump. I don't have much of a bump yet because I've been so sick, but it's coming. So I definitely scouted out ThreadUp for some maternity pieces and I found a lot of great deals. Um, this is just a blue skirt. This top is pretty cropped, but I tucked it in. The estimated retail value is $24, but I got it for $10.19. And then this blue skirt with pockets, come on. First of all, this outfit is so dang comfortable. Uh, it's an unbranded skirt. And in the past, I've gotten some crazy amazing brands, stuff that like, I'm so ignorant, I don't even know how good the brand is. But it's hanging in my closet and they're great quality pieces and I've gotten them for really amazing prices because of ThreadUp. So this skirt was estimated retail value is $36, but I got it for $12.27. And I kind of feel like a school teacher, but that's my vibe. I'm sorry, did someone say beach day? I found a maternity bathing suit. You guys, oh, off the shoulder, who am I? This is a motherhood maternity bathing suit and definitely plenty of room to grow in it. Estimated retail value is $36. I love the ruffles in the one sleeve, I feel so fancy. Um, I got it for, how much did I get it for? $28, $28 for a bathing suit. <laughs> Also, side note, this hat, I got it last year from ThreadUp. Still in amazing shape, still looks great, love it. I just put a little wrap around it, but it is a one-piece bathing suit. Jeez. 
can a girl be a little modest over here? <laughs> but I love this suit and actually <laughs> in my thread up cart right now, I have another maternity bathing suit because I live in Florida and it's like, surely I'm gonna need more than one, right? And honestly, I could probably buy four bathing suits for what it costs to buy one bathing suit brand new, you know? And then I'll have plenty of options. And a gal needs some options sometimes. And I say it all the time, you can be anyone you wanna be when you're buying thrifted clothing. I found so many amazing pieces. I didn't plan on sharing them all with you, but here I go anyway. This dress, I mean, the hills are alive. Absolutely incredible. The estimated retail value of this is $95, but I spent $25 and like 63 cents on it. It is so lightweight, perfect for Florida summer. I'm gonna try to go through the rest of these pieces really quickly, but take a peek on this skirt. I'm pretty sure it was made for me. All these little patches and stuff. So if you're thinking, I won't be able to find something unique and vintage on ThreadUp, yes you will, because <laughs> I have found several pieces. Remember my Nutcracker sweater? A gem. And then I found this perfect summer dress. I loved the print of it and it, is super comfortable. Estimated retail value is $36. I got it for $15.10. Oh my gosh, I got more pieces! But I know you're waiting for the code and the deal because you're already on thread up, like picking out your favorite pieces, okay? So you can get $10 off of your first order of $50 and free shipping if you use my code Kimberly10. I know you might feel like a family member when you're calling me Kimberly, but that will get you the deal $10 off your first order of $50 and free shipping. I know you're picking out some stuff right now. I already have a cart full, somebody stop me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little thrift haul that I had for you. I actually might wear this dress the rest of the day. I was planning on wearing the pants, but dang, everything is so comfortable. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Honestly, I kind of just wanna throw my suit back on and uh, go to the beach. Are you in? Are you packing the snacks? Cause, uh, I don't have any snacks to pack. Maybe that's what we'll do. I need to clean my kitchen and make some snacks. Let's do it. As we head to the kitchen, I'll show you the chaos that I've been living in. Oh yeah, Valentine's Day decor that we took down weeks ago. Yep, that's still hanging around. I don't know why that's there. There's a, always a mess in the living room to pick up. Oh, speaking of mess. <laughs> Nothing new here. It's just a normal Tuesday afternoon. You know, stuff from breakfast and making lunches for the kids. I also have a box of goodies here. You guys, these baskets are from the linen closet clean out I did like <laughs> a week ago. I'm the worst. Look how cool these plates are. One of our family members brought them by. You know what? I might keep that one. That one's really cool. But I don't like having like mismatched plates and stuff in my cabinets because I just don't have space and I, you know what I mean? Like they just never stack right on top of each other and they don't. I don't know, it's a problem. Like I want them, but do I need them? Mm. Okay, so after I get uh, the kitchen all tidied up, I am going to make energy balls. Honestly, I just don't think I'll get to going grocery shopping today. And I need to be able to pack my kids lunches for the morning dinner. I feel like I can always find stuff in my freezer to make for dinner, but lunches? I'm on the struggle bus with lunches, okay? I don't know what the heck to pack my kids. Ooh. Every morning I'm like, Ooh, lunches. Anyone else or is that just me? That's kind of my favorite part about summer is like, I don't have to pack lunches. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start tidying this place up. Uh, yeah. And then we'll make another mess to clean. You know what? Maybe I should set a timer because I'm kind of like lollygagging around. My energy level is kind of, you know what I mean? So I always find great motivation when I set a timer for myself. So, so I'm going to do that. I think 15 minutes is plenty. So I'll set that timer for 15 minutes. That's starting now. Let's do it. Now like second dilemma, who do we listen to? while I put everything away, okay?
the was. Free jams. This is probably one of the best ones I've heard in a while. We could leave this place, stay in bed for days. You'd be my Yoko and I'd be your John. You show your secret tattoo. Maybe I get one too. You and me can start a whole new chapter. Oh, and you smile at me. I just wanted to remind you, okay, because I know you already know, so maybe you just need a reminder. If there's a task that you don't feel like doing, pop on some music. I don't know about you, but for me, it's a good motivator. It lifts my mood. It lifts my spirits. It really does something for me on the inside. Right now, I'm jamming out to like 90s country, and I just asked Google to play 90s country, and that's it. And it picked the ultimate songs. Pretty sure every song from that era, era, <laughs> from that decade, is a bop. Loved it. And we're done. I know it may seem like a boring task because it's something that has to be done every day, multiple times a day. And for me, I put it off. I'm like, oh, whatever. It's a mess. I'll clean it at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, I'm exhausted. So then I push it to, you know, I'll let, I'm like, oh, whatever. Out of sight, out of mind. Also want to add, my husband has been great about doing dishes. So shout out to Alex. <laughs> but for me, if I just take 15 minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, if it's not that bad, and it's over with and I can look at a clean kitchen and it makes me feel a lot better. Um, I'm gonna put this candle away. It's a pumpkin candle. The other day I was really into uh, fall scents, I guess. I think it's time for a different scent today. I don't know if I'm gonna light it, but I just like to smell it. Okay, I changed my mind. I am going to light a candle. This one's watermelon lemonade. It's of course DW brand. I love these candles because they're affordable. So like it's $8 and it smells insane. And the amount of different scents that they have, I mean, you've heard me rave about them enough, right? Hashtag non-spawns. Hashtag probably never will be. <laughs> I just, uh, anyway, this one legitimately smells like a lip smacker chapstick. You know what I mean? From your childhood. It, oh, it smells so so dang good. I can't wait for it to fill the air. Should only really take a few minutes. So while I wait for that to happen, I'm gonna get out all of the ingredients to make energy balls. I feel like that is a family favorite. It's a staple. It keeps their bellies full. My kids love it. It'll be good in their lunch boxes. All the things, okay? And I feel like I haven't shared the recipe with you in a really, really long time, like maybe a year. So it's time for a refresh, okay? Oh, Lord help me, I don't want to break any glass today. Okay. I'm running low on my flaxseed. Remind me next time I go to Costco to get some flaxseed meal because this is it. 
What else do I need? Oh, I cannot find the chocolate chips anywhere. I'm about to call Alex and see if he hid them or if the kids got a hold of them and are hoarding them somewhere because I, honestly, I wouldn't put it past them. Okay, good news, Alex hid them. Uh, he hid them so well that I couldn't find them, <laughs> but I'm basically the size of a child. Uh, not really, I'm 5'9". Anyway, let me share with you the recipe so you can screenshot it or whatever. Here it is, it's super simple. I know there are probably 100 variations of energy balls and protein balls nowadays, but this is my like OG, tried and true, who the heck bought reduced fat? peanut butter who do i have to punch in the neck anyway here are all the other ingredients that you need uh chocolate chips by the way i i don't follow the ingredients i mean are you surprised have we met i kind of do my own thing oatmeal chia seeds agave or honey coconut flakes i do unsweetened some of that might be sweetened but it's fine do whatever you have or want and then flaxseed pretty sure that's it so let's throw it together Okay, well, first of all, over here, okay, I went to get my measuring cup out of my cupboard and I found two, not just one, two single pieces of bread in si Who did this? And also, why? <laughs> okay, the human brain ceases to amaze me. Let's get these things whipped up. Energy balls feel so good. Energy balls makes a mood. That didn't even rhyme. Two cups of oatmeal. Uh, I'm doubling the recipe because I got a lot of people to feed. Can I double the recipe? I don't know if I have enough flaxseed. Let's see. One cup of flaxseed meal, and that's all she wrote, folks. Two thirds cup of coconut flakes, but doubled, so. Wow, is this coming out or what? So it's like a cup and a third. Maybe a little bit more, okay? Measurements do not have to be precise at all for this. Like it calls for half a cup of chocolate chips just for one, one amount of the recipe, which I think is absurd. I would do, what is that? Maybe a quarter cup for doubling it? It's less than a quarter cup, doubled. It's actually exactly a quarter cup. My measurements are spot on. It also calls for one tablespoon chia seeds. Um, I do like a quarter cup of that stuff. Chia seeds are great. I mean, this recipe is full of like omegas and fiber and loads of nutrients, okay? Keep their bellies full. We got some protein up in here. We've got the oatmeal that's full of stuff. Delicious and nutritious. Why did I open this? Reduced fat. Why? You know, when they make reduced fat stuff, they just add sugar to it to make it taste better to compensate for the delicious fat flavor that they took out. I wish I could compare nutrition labels. This really has only total four grams of sugar. So I don't know, in the grand scheme of things, I should be buying peanut butter without anything added. It should be peanuts and salt. But here I am being a choosy mom, okay? Get off my back. How much peanut butter do we need? Well, let's do the agave first. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Two thirds cup of agave, since I'm doubling it. This is the nectar. Ooh, it's sweet and delicious. Is that two thirds? Hold on, I forgot how to measure stuff. Half a cup, one third. Okay, yeah, two thirds, here we go. Forgot how to use a measuring cup for a second there. Okay, and I let the agave kind of coat the measuring cup. I put one cup of peanut butter. Honestly, I usually don't even put the peanut butter into a measuring cup. I just do like three heaping spoonfuls and call it a day and like that's, it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, come on. And that my friends is all she wrote. Yes, it is that simple. No skill involved at all. And that's kind of my style. All right, whip this up and uh, yeah. You can do this by hand, but I'm just weak and lazy these days. I pick convenience over all else. Hashtag no regrets. That peanut butter is really hanging on in there, isn't it? There it is, it comes together in no time at all. Oh, I smell the candle already, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Uh, I took a deep breath because I was about to talk and mm, what a lovely treat. Okay, now all I do with this is throw it in the fridge, maybe for 30 minutes or whatever. You could probably roll it into balls beforehand, but 
Uh, most of the time, honestly, my kids eat this just with a spoon. I'll just put it in a bowl or whatever. If it's in their lunch boxes, I'll roll it into balls. But to get it a little bit firm, especially if you're using natural peanut butter, throw it in the fridge, let it firm up a little bit, and then you can roll it into balls, super simple. Okay, I know I told you I was going to make banana bread. I still plan on doing that. I'm gonna head to my outside freezer and see if there's any bananas, because I just checked in there, no such luck, which is kind of sad because like, I have the best banana bread recipe to share with you guys, like the ultimate. And I know like everyone says they have the ultimate banana bread, right? but like they don't, okay? 2020, I'm sure we all tried all the best ones. I have the best one. So if I can't share it with you today, rest assured I will eventually. Oh, speaking of my fridge, it's a disaster. Did I say I wanted to clean this today? Cause I do. Oh, is right now the right time? No, no it's not. That's another task that I put off and put off and put off until it's gross. Why do I do this to myself? All right, let's take a field trip, field trip to the garage. And you love field trips? Okay, here's our freezer back here. Were you expecting it to be organized? Have we met? <laughs> Nothing in my life is organized. I mean, it kind of is sausage down there. Uh, that's pretty much it, okay? Uh, bad news, I don't see any nanner banners. Let me look, sometimes they're in an inconspicuous spot. What the heck are these, cookies? Bananas? No, pizza rolls. By the way, that's a great hack. We buy these pizza rolls from a local pizzeria and we buy them in bulk and then we just freeze them. That used to be a great lunch option before I found out my kids were allergic to like gluten and dairy and then I'm like, oh, no pizza. What the heck are we gonna do every Friday night, you know? Uh, rest assured, I could still pack it for one of my kids' lunches. Do we really not have a single banana in our entire freezer? This is kind of unbelievable. What am I gonna make now? What am I gonna make now? Well, honestly, it's probably for the best because I do need to clean this fridge out and anything I do is just me procrastinating cleaning the fridge out. I don't want to show you what it looks like, but I will because we're best friends. But seriously, before I show you, this candle smells so dang good. Okay, here's the before. Ooh, also I want to make some boiled eggs. Yeah, I want an egg salad sandwich. Ooh, yeah, that sounds real good. But also with a side of banana bread. Okay, you might think, mm, this looks full. This is a fully stocked fridge. Nope, it's not. <laughs> I feel like all this stuff is just shoved to the front. And like, I don't know, like, uh, so let me just, uh, I don't know, start cleaning it out and see what I can fix. <laughs> I'll scatter across the dusty floor In the backseat of my Chevy 58 Along with bits of candy wrappers Looking back to when our castle was a shack Vacation was making figure eights in the parking lot Remember when we used to forget when we forgot It wasn't like we didn't work hard I'm trying to hold on to all the things that we did right But how could I forget about you leaving Since my heart has never stopped bleeding All that I can see is that I lost Those 90s jams, I'm telling you, it's where it's at Love 90s country music I wanted to explain the mess in my fridge Because you might be wondering, what the heck, you guys um, if you haven't known, <laughs> I've been really sick the past couple of months and it, our fridge has not been cleaned out. I haven't really been grocery shopping a ton and I plan on making dinner, but then I get so sick that I don't. So then some of the food went bad, you know. On a pillow of the walls, take me away. Fly this girl as high as you can into a wild blue. 
no big deal. I'm just jamming out to 90s country because that is my jam. I interrupt my uh, fridge clean out. I am going to throw some eggs in here. How many eggs will this hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it doesn't. That's what it said on the package. I don't really know how to use it. But there is a story behind it. I just assume you just add water. I don't know. Poached, medium, hard. Oh gosh, I don't know, man. Where are the instructions? See, last time I tried using one of these, everything burned because I didn't read the instructions. There is a story behind this. So, okay, cover with lid. And so far, so good. I don't want poached crap. I don't, oh, come on. Okay, so a couple years ago for Christmas, I, um, there's no lines on this. I got, I don't, there's a, you had to be there, I guess. Okay, we do like this white elephant gift exchange and our families were fighting over these and it was just a great time. And so for last year, I bought another one because I got it for a really great price. I got it on, um, it's normally like $26 or something. I got it for 17. And, but then I ended up finding like cooler gifts for the white elephant. So, uh, you know, I mean, I might as well keep it for myself. <laughs> so, um, instead of using the instant pot, I thought, you know what, let me try this. Cause my brother and sister-in-law, they like rave about it. They're like, we use it almost every day. Like that is hands down the coolest gift we've ever got. Or maybe not maybe not coolest, but like most useful <laughs> gift we've ever got. So what do I do now? I don't, how long do I wait? Does it just go off? All right. Back to reality, right? Back to, back to reality. I'm gonna see how much I like this. Hopefully enough. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll use it every day if I like it. I won't. All right, let me finish the fridge. I hear it starting to like sizzle already. And I know making my own hard boiled eggs First of all, it's easy. It doesn't get much easier than throwing eggs in there and then doing nothing. Cause I know the Instant Pot is like a whole method. And I don't know, that's probably the same crap. But if I can save some money by making them at home, I mean, I have an Instant Pot at home. I'm just trying to justify, leave me alone. I also have been on a really big boiled egg kick lately. All right, back to the chicks. Okay. Even since my heart has never stopped believing. All that I can see is that I lost you, lost you then Looking for a reason to forgive you Sometimes I even want to be with you Just the way you say that it's alright, alright now I am tearing down this wall go by and gradually the tears run dry but i'm still here looking for your face in the faces crowd long after her i find gives me the burst of energy that I need. I bet you there's an artist that does the same for you. Is it Avril Lavigne? No? Okay. <laughs> it's not 2007 anymore. 
Um, anyway, I just, her song came on and it just does something to me. Love it so much, but moving on to my disgusting fridge. So uh, it has been neglected for a few months because I have not been feeling well. Hence the like moldy onions and stuff. I haven't been cooking a lot. Very minimal. I've been like on survival mode. Like that's for real. Okay. And then, oh, so what happened here, Kim? Oh, that's absolutely gross. You're right. It is absolutely disgusting. It smelled even worse than it looked. And not inside the fridge, but once I got it out and started cleaning it, I was like, oh, that man is so disgusting. So, um, just a PSA reminder, stay on top of cleaning your fridge. Okay, an accident happened in our fridge. I bought, last time I bought ground beef, I got home from Costco, didn't put it away right away. I normally put it into bags and throw it in the freezer. But, like I said, I haven't been feeling well. Okay, get off my back. And just do, doing the bare minimum, I put it in the fridge and apparently, you know, I put it in a bag, but apparently like leaked out of the bag and like, it seeped under all of that stuff and yeah it's just not a good situation but today we're tackling it and figuring out how to get it done i look at you i know it's all right you read my mind but i can see that you don't with myself that I was able to even get the shelf out of the fridge <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna figure it out but lo and behold look at me I did did I take it to the bath yet I even took it to the bathtub and scrubbed it like who am I I just put some you know soap in the bathtub and it came right off it wasn't hard it wasn't challenging I just did it you know maybe a little time consuming but you got to do what you got to do when you're dealing with a big mess like that man and doesn't it look better I'm wiping it off. It's just a little damp. It's fine. But holy cow. Oh, Alex came home and said, I think it looks cleaner than the day we like moved in. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you so much. Here is the before. Oh, gross. Disgusting. Get out of here. And here is the after. Ooh, sparkly clean is how I like my things. It's very seldom that I have my things sparkly clean, but you know enjoy it while it lasts and now I'm just throwing all the food back in trying to organize it if you saw when I was taking it out like oh like I just put I had two bottles of Italian dressing and I just combined them same with the pickles I was like why do I have two in here of the same thing so it just condensed a little bit of stuff when I felt like I could and needed to so there's that <laughs> That is awesome that it makes that noise. Okay, now I assume we um, put them in an ice bath. All right, let's do that. Oh, hell, they're hot. <laughs> How do I 
get these things off. My tongs are dirty, so this will have to do. Good enough. Okay, moment of truth. I know you're supposed to wait like five minutes or whatever, but I find that when they're still semi-warm, they peel the easiest. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how everyone raves about the Instant Pot and they're like, my eggs peel like magic. I don't know, I haven't had that experience and I know it depends on how old your eggs are, the age of your eggs. But like, first go around, this peeled like magic. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. Um, I'm gonna cut inside to see, it's really hot, to see uh, what kind of boil we got on it, right? Ooh! Perfection! I know I'm like the last person to jump on the, the dash egg train, but better late than never, am I right? Where am I gonna store these? Wales, California, somewhere green. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hands and said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Oh my gosh, I didn't want to jinx it But literally every single egg This is unbelievable! I didn't have a problem with a single egg. Like not one where I was like, oh, come on. You know what I mean? Where there's usually, they're all perfect. That has never happened. Ever, ever, ever. Not on the stove top, not in the Instant Pot. Never in my entire life. So I am sold with that thing. I am super impressed. I'm gonna let these cool room temperature and then I'll put a lid on it but and pop it in the fridge, but Oh boy, maybe I'll make some egg salad while they're warm. I don't know. I'm gonna eat them because I'm hungry, but there's that. By the way, I just cooked and peeled eggs and it doesn't smell like eggs at all in here because that candle is so strong. Watermelon lemonade, it is doing something amazing for me. Like it smells like my childhood. Like it smells so good. Makes me want to run to like TJ Maxx and see if they have another one because I don't, I, like I wanna burn that for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, it's so windy again that my, our lanai chairs just <laughs> fell over. Okay, so I'm done with the fridge. Everything looks really nice. I'll show you what it looks like, don't you worry. Um, one last thing I have to do is just to add the energy ball mix into a container, but I did wanna show you that if you wanted to make balls, like ha this was in there probably five minutes and you just form them into little balls. Can you see? Not really. This is great, but they easily form. No big deal. But I'm gonna shove mine into a container. This doesn't last us very long, so I don't know how long it will last in general because it never lasts more than a couple of days. All right, here we go. Here is the final reveal. Ooh, la 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 la. I actually love the way a clean fridge looks. I've, obviously, everyone likes a clean fridge, but not like overly stocked, where stuff is like pouring out of it, you know? Yeah, it's like 95% condiments, but I don't know, that's our life. Okay, a little change of scenery here. Oh my gosh, it looks terrible behind me. Just, can you ignore that? I should probably tidy it up. I do need to tidy up around my house. I think I just need a minute. Let's just take a snack break. Okay, if you're not keeping snacks in your computer desk drawer, are you really living? Okay, break's over. I don't have that much time. <laughs> no breaks for mom. Okay, well honestly, I don't know what to do with uh, half of that crap. So you're just gonna have to look at it. Put your blinders on, okay? Uh, did I tell you why the change of scenery? I came in here to meal prep a little bit. Okay, now that my fridge is clean, I know I didn't tidy my pantry, but like, do you really need to watch me do that? Maybe later, okay? But for now, I have been trying to compile, what color do I want to use? Such a dilemma. I'm trying to compile some recipes for the week ahead. So I have a couple of on my phone, 
and um and then i pulled up right here i found a couple from like food network and stuff right where i can make them gluten-free dairy-free and right here i have pulled up which reminded me i follow elise ellis and she was one of the six sisters okay there's like drama behind this i there's drama but i follow elise because that's where the truth is. I love her so much. I support her. So I have her like monthly meal plan subscription. So it gets emailed to me like at the top of every month. And she, she's coming out with a cookbook soon. I just love her recipes. They're easy, they're simple. Her whole thing is like macro friendly food. So like she's super fit. She is like woman across the room for real. So if you're looking for like easy family friendly meals, like this is it, okay? She also has an Instagram where she shares plenty of recipes for free. And I just, I can't rave about her enough. I just adore her. But I have her monthly meal plan, so I'm going through them. And of course, before my kids were like gluten-free, dairy-free, it was much easier to meal plan. You know what I mean? Like go through your favorite recipes or even recipes that you see people share, most of them have gluten and or dairy. It is very, um, it can be very frustrating. I have found that a lot of our recipes, our go-to recipes throughout the years, just in general, were gluten-free, dairy-free, or easy to switch over. Oh my gosh, which reminds me, I just made Eleanor's appointment to finally get her allergies tested to find out like what specifically she's allergic to and if she can eat it, if it's like baked or whatever, so or cooked. So that's really exciting. I'm <laughs> kind of hoping that like it's one or the other and not both because you know, we've made mistakes here and there where like I've packed food in their lunch or I've unknowingly fed them something or we're at a birthday party and they eat a little bit and they haven't had like big adverse effects. Of course, they're not eating it every day, all day. So that could also play a factor in it. Like it could just be a sensitivity and not like a full blown like level four or five allergy. I digress. I'm trying to meal plan. Okay, I'm trying to make a grocery list. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'll show you some of the pictures from her March meal plan. Chicken cordon bleu. Ooh, honey chicken. That sounds promising, okay. Beef fried rice, always a classic. So I'm just gonna go through these and uh, pick out some faves. Just so you know, this is what I actually look like when I'm meal planning. <laughs> Hunched over, scroll, scroll, scroll. But actually the meal plans make it really simple because I can just, like there's a picture. Love a picture with a recipe always, right? Ooh, slow cookers, yep. Ooh, dill salmon. Man, I just planted some dill in my herb garden. It's like a pot with a few herbs in it. But that sounds really good. They sell that at Costco. Salmon is, I don't know, can be pretty pricey if you can't find it on sale. I'll try to look at Costco because I feel like at Costco last time I went, it was really reasonably priced. The thing I love about her recipes or just recipes in general, even if it's just a side dish, that it's like slightly different than how I typically make it. And it's just like a nice change of pace. You know what I mean? So I can make my go-to meals that my family likes and whatever. But for me, I like to change up a pat, even if it's just like adding, if it's green beans and you're adding like Dijon mustard or something, just a little something different. It doesn't have to be like gourmet where you buy seven new ingredients that you only use once. Um, and that's what I like about most of these recipes where it's just like, slightly elevated, <laughs> you know? Like Parmesan lemon zucchini. Never had that before. I've had zucchini a hundred different ways, but never with also lemon and Parmesan. Seems simple enough. Sometimes you just need like little ideas like that, you know? Because making food for your family every single day, multiple times a day, it can be mentally exhausting. Like, I don't know what to make you. What do you want? Please tell me what to make, you know? Man, these sound real good. I'm finding a lot. 
I'm also finding some recipes that I feel like would be great side dishes for Easter as well. So that's a bonus. <sighs> Tell me if you ever do this too. When you're meal planning for the week, I always end up with like 20 meals. <laughs> it's fine. I'd rather have, you know, too many than not enough. Ooh, Parmesan herb roasted sweet potatoes. Yes, I would like some of those right now. Thank you so much. And it's so simple. Okay, well now that this is done, <laughs> uh, done mostly, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna scroll through Pinterest maybe later tonight or whatever, but I did find some, I mean, how many recipes are you here? I have about nine recipes, probably five of them are the side dishes, and I'm excited about that. I have nine here, and then I have three main dishes here, so I have enough definitely for, you know, a week and a half, really. So I'll make my grocery list later tonight. So for now, what time is it? I think I should tidy up the house. Just like quick, um, I don't know what it's called, man, but it's like go through a room five minutes at a time. And what I, I wanna focus, um, I wanna obviously pick up the crap around my house, but also clean the floors. I feel like when my floors are clean, I mean, it's so dumb. My house feels cleaner because it is cleaner, but it, even if like stuff is picked up around my house and my floors aren't clean, I'm like, ugh, you know? Even if there's nothing on the floor, I'm like, mm. everything just looks cleaner on the floor. It's whatever, okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, I just walked into the house from the garage. The candle, oh, it's my favorite um, for today anyway. Do you guys ever do this? Why am I sitting? Mostly because the camera, I'm not in frame if I'm standing up. Don't look at my legs. I haven't shaved them in, I don't know, months. Anyway, this is the quality content you came here for. Do you guys ever do this where like you put projects off because you just like don't want to do them? Knowing that they'll literally take you like five minutes to do. Like it took me, two minutes max to grab this bin. Took me, what, 30 seconds to like put everything in the tote. I don't know if this wreath will fit. Oh, how sad. Okay, how are we gonna store this wreath? Okay, now that project is done and I feel a little bit better about my life. Okay, bye. Let's go! 
Let's clean our floors. You guys know how much I adore this Bissell Crosswave. I should reach out and be like, hey, do you want to like sponsor me? <laughs> um, anyway, I just adore it so much. It is a really big time saver. But one question I've got or a comment or some people say that like they've had it and it left their floors streaky. Um, I don't know what kind of floors that they have. And of course, I've only had mine for a short amount of time, maybe a month. I probably used it every single day, if I'm being honest. And I clean out the roll quite often, like the roller inside of the vacuum. So that might play a factor. The cleaning product that you use inside might play a factor. And then beyond that, of course, the floors that you have probably play a factor. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like on on like a darker floor. Uh, just so you could see like mine, I don't know, mine doesn't leave any streaks. Uh, I've had very good luck with it and it is my favorite thing. <laughs> it seems so dumb to be like, this is my favorite thing. It, it is, it is, I think because it saves so much time and that's what I like about it. So I don't know, take it for what it is. A magical product. That's what it is. Okay. This is my favorite slash most disgusting part. Man, I'm like disgusted every time. But it's amazing how this thing cleans. In one fell swoop, I can sweep, vacuum, and mop all in one go. And it makes me feel really good. So I'm happy with the progress I made. For the most part, my house is tidy. It's good enough. I feel good about that. I think we'll end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Don't forget to check out ThreadUp if you want to get $10 off of your first order of $50 or more. And you get free shipping as well. Use my code Kimberly10. And you can do that. The link will be in my description box below. Man, oh man, I love ThreadUp. Love this dress that I've been wearing from ThreadUp all day. I'm sweating a little bit because, um, you know, cleaning is a workout. So I'm gonna make my grocery list and make dinner for my kids when they get home or an after school snack. But thank you again for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.